What's up guys, Sean the Bro here, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to convert your Unreal Engine 4 project to Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine 5, UE5, Early Access 1 got released today, so this process may change a bit as the, you know, as time goes on. So if you see anything different between this episode and what you have to do, please let me know so I can update the description or perhaps make an entirely different video if the process changes. I have two links in the description. You can uh, use them to go to the Epic Games launcher if you don't already have it. You can have an Unreal project without having the launcher. And then um, there's also one to just get Unreal Engine 5. So you will need Unreal Engine 5, and you will need a project to convert from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. If you're in the launcher, you can just go to UE5 tab and download Early Access. It will install, and once you're done, you can launch right here. Now hit launch. It'll take some time to load the first time through. Probably only took like a minute, but I had to compile some other things for me. And once it loads, you'll get a tab that looks like this. It's a very sleek new Unreal Engine 5 design. And it has all your templates, you know, like if you're going to make a new one. And But it actually has this games, or excuse me, this recent projects tab that has all the projects you've been working on in Unreal Engine 4. You can see I've got all these guys here. So to convert this, all we have to do is select the project we want. So I have Twitch Game on 4.23, which is one of the older versions I have, and I should have updated it anyway, but it doesn't matter. It'll take any of these. So select the project you want, and we can do two things here. We can either convert the project in place. Basically, it will take the project that we have and make it an Unreal Engine 5 project, or we can make a copy of it right in here and then you'll have a UE4 and a UE5 project. That's the safer method because UE5 is experimental right now. So if you're not comfortable uh, converting your project to UE5 where it's still in early access, it's still experimental, you may want to avoid that and instead just make a copy. You can also just zip up this project now, basically make a copy of it that you have on your machine anyway, and that won't hurt anything. So just make sure you take proper precautions to be safe when updating your project here. Click on the project you want and you can just hit open on it. It'll come up with a message that's basically telling you you will have to rebuild everything and there's new features. So they recommend that you open a copy. Now we're going to actually do this because I do want a copy. However, you can feel free to do more options and then convert in place, which will literally convert your Unreal Engine 4 project to an Unreal Engine 5 project. You can also skip it entirely and use Unreal 5 to open an Unreal 4 project, which basically doesn't do any sort of converting for you, but if you just need to open the project, it does work. I'm going to select open a copy. It's going to take a few seconds here to basically copy all the contents of your project over and it will make a new folder for you. I have the folder open so I can show you. So I had this this folder called Twitch Game and this was my Unreal Engine 4 side scroller. This is my side scroller series. That's what Twitch Game is. It's my live stream series. Now I'm converting it and you can see it made this folder Twitch Game 5.0. So 5.0 stands for Unreal 5.0. So that's how you know it's the UE5 one. It's gonna try and build it here. So it already did the copy. It's gonna try and build and see if it can open it. If it fails, we'll have to build manually in Visual Studio, but otherwise it should just open. Doesn't take very long. So this is the actual build step here. When it's generating code and, and getting you know, taking a lot of time. It's building everything in the background. So it actually failed, believe it or not. Um, now the reason it failed is probably just because it wants us to rebuild manually. Like I don't see any actual logs saying that it failed or there, there was anything wrong with what we were doing, which is good. This is normal. Unreal will normally make you build a project if you unzip it or download it from someone else or download it from GitHub and then try and open it. So that's perfectly fine. These warnings you see are on me. It just happens that I um, made a take damage function on my own without overriding the one that was already there. So it's like, oh, you got warnings, you're doing it wrong. But really, I should just change the name. So don't worry about this. Nothing in here is important or 
related to your project. I just wanted to let you know. So all we have to do, open with Visual Studio. You probably already have Visual Studio if you've been working on Unreal Engine 4, but if for whatever reason you don't, then you can download it. I'll actually include a link for that too in the description. Now it will open your project in Visual Studio. It might give you some of this, like operation could not be completed or something. It likes to do that sometimes, but you can literally just open them. Like if I do source and do Twitch game. So source and then your game name and then the file, Twitch game character in this case. It actually opens just fine. So you can close the old ones. You may have to reopen all your files, but <laughs> it's not a very big deal. You can do control KO to uh, open up the header or CPP file, the opposite of which one you're on. But anyway, it doesn't matter what's in these files. Point is now I have this open. Now I have mine on debug game editor in Windows 64. That's usually what Unreal likes to run on. And then now, since this is like, it's treating it like a new project, you will have to do this stuff again if you haven't already. So you have two solutions in Visual Studio. You have Unreal Engine 5 and you have your project name. Now the one we're trying to launch is not the engine, believe it or not. We actually are trying to launch our solution file. We're trying to run that. And then the engine will pick up on that and, you know, put that into the editor. So we want to right click on our project and do set as startup project. Then you can either build it and make sure it builds properly or run it. Normally I would just run it, but since this is the first time we're doing it, I do want to make sure I build the solution. You could do build or rebuild. Either way, it's going to have to do a full rebuild. And then this shouldn't take very long, but all things, you know, assuming all things are good, it should be able to actually build successfully this time. And if it builds successfully, we'll be able to open the editor. So sometimes when you're converting your project, it might make you do this, but it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with your project. And it will take some time because it has to basically build all the logic that you have as well as some of the Unreal stuff. Now for me, I happen to actually have some legitimate errors here because of an Unreal 5 change. It doesn't like my scene component stuff here that I have where I'm setting the relative rotation. So if you have any errors in here, then you can uh, comment them out now just to get it to build. Or, you know, since it's actually your project, you probably should uh, just fix it the right way. There's probably a new method of using the function that it wants here. Like it doesn't want me to directly access the using component. There we go. So I've just commented this out and I'll comment out the absolute rotation as well. It's not really important, again, what I'm doing here, but just understand with any Unreal, or with any engine update, Unreal, Unity, whatever, um, you could have errors that pop up. So again, you shouldn't just comment these out and be like, oh, life's good. You should figure out why and probably update them if you need them. I don't actually need these. I set these in the blueprint in this case. So instead of just commenting them out, I can actually flat out get rid of them. And there we go. But if you need them to work and it's not working the engine, you'll need to fix them first. However, you can see our build succeeded, so now I can play the game. Or launch the editor, really. And there we go. So it will ask you this stuff. If you want it to run on all this, I just let it run on private networks, but you can do whatever you want. And here you go. Here's the nice little splash screen for opening the engine. And it will take a little bit longer the first time that you launch it than normal, because it does load a few packages. And once it hits the uh, end value there, then you're here. This is my project in Unreal Engine. So you can look at all this stuff. Um, it's gonna be, let me resize this for you. <laughs> um, yes, we can save the map. And now we should be able to if I look at my recent projects, I'm gonna cancel this. And now, if I reopen Unreal Engine 5, 
I have it pinned to my taskbar here. I should be able to open my new project, which is Twitch Game. And you see it doesn't have a version number on it. That means it's up to date on the current version you're on. So this was the old one. You saw how I had to close it because I, it, it doesn't update in real time. So if you have two open like me, or if you had one open, you make a copy, this will still be up. You won't see your new project. So just close it, reopen it. Here's Twitch Game. Now I can open it right from here if I want, or I can keep launching through Visual Studio. It's a little finicky, which is actually intentionally why I'm leaving this in the video as opposed to editing it out. You can see there might be a few things you have to deal with here. You might have to rebuild your Visual Studio. You might have to close your little launcher there. But regardless, we'll get through it, and now we can finally open it through the launcher or through running it through Visual Studio. Now, um, this is a little bit... I'm going to resize this window because there's one more thing I want to show you. I want to make sure that you can see this. This is what Unreal Engine 5 looks like. Now, it's going to tell you a bunch of stuff, like new plugins are available, um, and project file is out of date, would you like to update it? You can go ahead and update it. It will update basically some uh, data in your U project file, and I think a few of the other files, basically just to change the version number and things like that. I'm not even sure if you have to, but I always suggest doing that. I always used to do it through different engine versions, so it is important. And here we go. So it looks a lot different than what you're probably used to, but a lot of it's pretty much the same. I'll have an entire video going over Unreal Engine 5, so not too worried about you know the differences right now. I just want you to be able to open your projects. And if I run my project, uh, shaders are still compiling and all, so it's going to be a little bit, a little bit weird, a little bit laggy. But you can see, <laughs> you can see everything's everything's popping up still. There we go, I think it's done. And you can see the default progress bar, by the way, looks very good. All right, and there we go, guys. So we've officially uh, converted our U UE4 project to a UE5 project. And everything still appears to be working. My camera's a little bit broken because I removed those two lines. <laughs> um, I will go ahead and fix that, but that's beside the point. You can see that everything is actually working within the project. And that is excellent news. So that is what I wanted to cover today. Now you can keep working on the projects that you know and love in Unreal Engine 5. And if you're brave enough, you don't have to use the copy. You can use your actual project. But just be careful. Make sure you make a backup if you're going to do that. But that's all I got for you today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If this helped you, please subscribe. It does more for the channel than anything else you can do. And I'll be putting out a lot more Unreal Engine 5 content as soon as I can. On top of that, I have a few other series you can check out if you want to check out the side scroller series that I'm working on now uh, during the live streams, which is this one. You can check out my fighting game tutorial series, platform fighter, first person shooter, and action RPG series. If you had any issues with this or any of my videos, feel free to join our Discord community. We have a nice community, it's completely free, and we'll be happy to help you with issues or just talk to you about concepts and things like that. Lastly, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube membership and Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for supporting what I do and giving me encouragement to continue this. This is my passion. I'm so excited about Unreal Engine 5, and I'm so excited that you guys are going to get to experience that with me. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. I'm Sean the Bro, and I'll see you later.